Hey folks, happy Thursday, good to see you. I know some of you are saying, he got a haircut, I did get a haircut. Um, and uh, thankful for that. You know, it's interesting doing these videos every week. I, I have to uh, stare at myself and uh, uh, see that. So um, I'm even surprised to uh, see myself um, uh, with a haircut. So anyways, uh, happy Thursday, Thursday, July 22nd. Today our prayer calendar is inviting us to pray for third grade students. Um, and staff, you know, I, so I'm recording this Wednesday um, in preparation for devotions tomorrow morning. Uh, today, our students in the local public school districts in Chula Vista started school. I'm so excited. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning right now on Wednesday. I'm so excited to talk to my own kids at the end of today and just to hear how it's going. I talked to uh, one family today and they had a first grader that was starting school who was uh, super emotional about going um, and this child's a wonderful student and will do a great job and is very um, you know well uh, uh, associates great with other kids and just the weight of it all is is intense and that's why we wanted to be praying for students during this uh, uh, these late uh, last couple weeks of July so today third graders, third grade students, third grade families, third grade teachers, all the faculty, staff, all the folks that are going to be associated with that. And uh, with that in mind, I was thinking more about kids in my own uh, prayer time this morning as I was praying and uh, reminded of this passage, the Gospel of Luke. Open your Bibles to the Gospel of Luke chapter 2 verse 22. Um, so Luke chapter 2, verse 22, and as you're doing that, just uh, uh, reminders about the uh, Gospel of Luke, uh, probably written um, around the year 95 or so, the Gospel of Luke had some parts of Matthew in common, have some parts of Mark in common, have some uh, other pieces uh, unique to the Gospel of Luke. It's written in sort of a unique setting in, in which it's uh, uh, sort of away from Jerusalem, out towards the sea, um, and in a more uh, metropolitan kind of port city. So lots of people, a big mix of people, Jews and Gentiles, rich, poor, um, whereas, for example, the Gospel of Matthew is written um, in and around the Sea of Galilee and uh, relatively um, uh, quiet sort of fishing villages around there where everyone lived there for generations and knew everyone for generations. Not so in a, a port city like where the Gospel of Luke is written. So you get some different, um, some different understandings and different perspective um, and of course, that is a good thing. When when I read the Bible as a uh, person in uh, you know the United States, professional, um, educated, uh, upper middle class, rich compared to the vast majority of the world, I'm going to see Jesus and understand Jesus differently than someone in a developing country that makes you know ten dollars a week and and is a subsistence living um, and we have different understandings of Jesus, different perspectives of Jesus. It doesn't mean that Jesus is different for each of us. Um, it's just a different perspective, a different lens by which I see the world um, and I understand God. And so the Gospels give us different lenses as well, which is part of the beauty of them. All right, enough about the Gospel of Luke. Gospel of Luke chapter 2 verse 22. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And so Jesus, as the firstborn uh, male in that culture, would have been um, offered up to the Lord to be in service of the Lord. You know, it goes with this for sort of first fruits giving you. You harvest your field and you give the first 10 percent uh, to God um, a, as a tithe well the first child is given to God as a tithe now of course today we understand that all the all of our children right I don't I don't uh, commit my first more to the Lord than my second uh, when 
when uh, we have children in our world, in our culture, we lift them up and we commit them to God um, and uh, give thanks for the life that God has given to us and understand that they are beloved children of God. And that's why we're praying for these kids during these uh, days of going back to school and uh, life, such significant life changes for them. Every one of these children, today third graders, every one of these children, our beloved children of God, and we lift them up and commit them to the Lord as Jesus was done in his earliest, as was done for Jesus in his earliest of days. And so we pray for these students on this day. God bless you. Have a great day.